What's going on guys, JB Tech here. So as many of us may or may not know, iOS 5.1 was released for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Now if you're hesitant to update because you want a jailbreak, well I got great news because the iPhone dev team did update Red Snow, allowing you to jailbreak 5.1 and not even 24 hours after iOS 5.1 was released, it's already available to be jailbroken. So. Before we do start, there are a few things to point out because this is, you may have already guessed it, but it is a tether jailbreak, meaning each time you have to reboot or say your battery dies or something, you will have to boot it through Retsno and that's how it will work. But there is a way to work around this and I'll have that at the end of the video. This jailbreak only works on A4 devices, meaning this will not work on iPhone 4S nor the iPad 2. So I'm doing this on my iPhone 4 right here. And if you do rely on an unlock, do not update to the stock iOS 5.1 firmware. You will need to create a custom IPSW and preserve your baseband or else your baseband will be updated and who knows when the unlock will be available for that. So do be aware of that. And now that we got all that said and done, we'll begin on jailbreaking. So, what we'll need first is of course we'll need Red Snow and if you want to go ahead and back up your iDevice just in case. But there shouldn't be any problems but just to be safe and so you'll have a backup you'll have that so go ahead and open up iTunes and be sure you download the latest 10.6 iTunes that was released as well and then back up your iDevice so now that we got that done go ahead and open up Red Snow and I have the links and everything down there in the description below where it will take you to senseiphone.com and I have a how-to guide and everything and all the links for Red Snow and everything like that so check that in the description below but go ahead and open up Red Snow and the latest version is going to be 0.9.10 beta 6 so right here it's gonna be easy now they have what version of phone you have right down here along with the firmware so it does say mine's connected iPhone 4 5.1 and of course we'll go ahead and I'll show you on my device as well go into settings and about and I am running 5.1 down there so let's see if we can see that yeah so there's 5.1 so now that we are on the red snow screen right up here we'll simply have to just hit on jailbreak and then here it's basically just gonna tell us to make sure your eye device is connected and turned off and set to DFU mode we don't really need to turn this off we just need to set it to DFU mode and if you're not familiar with putting your eye device into DFU mode just go ahead what we'll have to do is hold down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds until it shuts off and everything and then we'll let go of the power button and keep holding down the home button for about like seven seconds but if you don't know how to do that once it is turned off you'll have this next button you'll be able to click on this next button right there and then I'll show you a walk through how to do it but since we already know how to do this we'll go ahead and start and put this in DFU mode so go ahead and hold down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds then it'll go into this screen and then we'll shut off just like that and then now we'll let go of the power button and then keep holding down the home button and then you'll see your screen automatically change so red snow it starts exploiting with lime rain and then we'll begin this so right now it's basically going to detect the IPSW aka firmware that you have on your iDevice so we should be having the 5.1 so let me go ahead and fast forward this real quick. All right, guys. So now it did detect our iPhone firmware. If you're doing this on the iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch, so go ahead and have install Cydia checked, and then we'll click on next. There we go. So now it's waiting for reboot, and then now we do see the jailbreak data screen right here, downloading the jailbreak data. So that's always good news. Let this sit. And this will take a while, so you'll get all this gibberish and matrix code and all that. So don't worry about this. This is actually normal. So wait a while, and then we'll get back to this. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this so it won't keep you waiting and everything. All right, guys. So now our iDevice has booted up. So we'll simply slide to unlock and then we'll have to scroll over to the right and we do see Cydia right here 
and this is white and the reason why is because this is a tether jailbreak so this will not work until you do the following steps so we'll have to go back on red snow and then we'll just simply hit back and then we'll have to go into the just boot so this is what you actually have to be doing each time your phone does reboot or your battery dies or something in order to get it back up and booting or in order for it to boot back up you will need to do this following step we'll need to set our iDevice into DFU mode and then we'll have to hit the just boot and then it'll work so unless you don't do that you'll be stuck on the Apple boot logo so you don't want that so we'll simply go ahead and put our device into DFU mode and then now we'll just let this run after we do this so there it goes it's exploding with lime rain and then this is going to take another minute or so so I'll fast forward again Alright guys, so now our iDevice once again has booted up and we'll simply slide to unlock and then we'll go to the right and now you do see Cydia, the icon is there so that's always great. So we'll simply tap on that and then now it's going to ask you if you're a user, hacker or developer and then I'll just say user for now and then we'll hit on done and then now Cydia is going to do its thing and load everything, all the repos and everything. So there you have it guys. Welcome to Cydia screen and then we do have iOS 5.0.1 down there at the very bottom it says iPhone 4 GSM iOS 5.1 Cydia 1.1.5 so that's how you jailbreak guys and before I do end this video this is actually how you do the workaround on the needing to having to use a computer to boot up and everything it's not really a full fix, but it is like a temporary fix just in case you're not close to a computer or anything like that. And this is called semi untether. So what we have to do is actually add a repo and then we'll go into manage down here and then sources. And then we have to edit and then add the big boss. If I can spell that the big boss dot org forward slash semi tether so simply add that source real quick and then now it's gonna add it as you see here once that is added we'll simply hit on return to Cydia and then we'll go into the bigboss.org repo right here and then you do see semi untether or semi tether I should say and then we'll go ahead and install it and then confirm and then once this works I will show you how, or once this installs, I will show you how it's going to work. There you go. Now it's going to say to restart Springboard. So we'll restart that. But for this to work, this is how it's going to work. Slide to unlock. Let me just demonstrate how this is going to work. So we'll simply slide to power off. Normally on tethered jailbreaks, if you're not, if you're like new to jailbreaks, you will need to, like I said, boot it through your computer, booting up Red Snow and all that jazz. But with this semi tethered, you actually don't need a computer to boot it up. You will have some downfalls like Safari won't work or you won't be able to install like different tweaks from Cydia until you do boot through Red Snow again. So once you boot it up, again through red snow then everything will be working like normal again but in the meantime say you don't do the just boot through the computer right now like we're doing now then you will have some cutbacks so like I said Safari won't work and Cydia won't work the tweaks and everything so just be aware of that don't panic you just have to boot up through red snow in order for it to all work again so once this does reboot um, just want to show you real quick there it goes so I didn't have to boot it up through red snow or anything so now it'll work so let's go ahead and see what is available if you see there I open up Safari 
and it just closes so that won't work and there's a, a can't remember what others won't work because they did update this so for now all I know is Safari won't work so basically some of your internet stuff is not gonna work and then Cydia won't work either so it won't open so that sucks <laughs> but like I said you just simply have to boot it through Red Snow again and then you will have everything working so that's it for this video guys I hope you all enjoyed this jailbreak and it helped you out plenty and if you did help you out and if you like this video go ahead and hit that little like button in the bottom left and if you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that leave that in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe up top I would really appreciate it and I will come out with more jailbreaks and all this good stuff so until next video guys I will catch y'all later thanks for watching peace Hello there.